How dare you Muslims? How dare y'all use the Quran against the Bible? I done told y'all, y'all's been told many generations that America's had to come in and save people's asses from across the seas, good Lord, from across the airwaves, from across the economical boundaries of the world now. How dare you sit there, Muslims, now making a stir, trying to take away attention from the good Lord. We's got mega churches we got to build over here. We got palaces to upkeep. You know, our Pope's golden rods and hats and custom silk robes can't be funded when people are too scared to come to a church because they think it's going to be bombed. We'll bomb your churches, your goddamn mosques. How dare you think this won't get violent? Don't you know who Christianity is? Don't you know what the Lord Jesus Christ is all about? Don't you know what it is putting Bible verses in the back of your truck? You just come fight us in America. You'll find out real quick, Muslims. You'll find out real quick how America gets down. In the streets, in the malls, at the Chick-fil-A and Bojangles. We ain't gonna fuck around now talking about, oh, how these allies must be warships. How Allah must get his due in the great Mohammed. How dare you wear turbans and silk robes. You need to wear uncomfortable suits like the rest of us. You better dress like Europe and America. How dare you cover up thine women. Thine women are for my eye in the name of the Lord to look upon. I'm telling you, I quote the Bible all day. Women, women are equal unto their man in marriage, but other than that, they are to be fucking flaunted and used because our women are hot. White women are the shit, and you're jealous because you got to cover up y'all's girls head to toe, not to be looking at one another, but not to be seeing their ugly ass, unclean demeanor. Oh, how dare you. Now this devolved into somewhat of a name-calling contest, a shit-talking contest. How dare you behead people in the streets? We'll send armies into the desert and wreck everything and blow everybody up. And we'll be wearing your own shit and talking y'all's own language. How about that? ISIS was us the whole time in the name of the good Lord. It was divine from the good book. How dare you not think that we'd come up with an epic scheme that we wouldn't invade the Middle East and do terror and spread chaos in the streets and misuse Islam and make it look bad as hell and tell all our people that you're desert savages. Oh, how dare you not believe that America, oh, I mean, you know, Christianity wouldn't be the right religion. Yeah, let's talk that way. Christianity is definitely right. The Bible is older than the Quran. You're just making up stuff based on our stories. How dare you steal away the creative rights of the good Lord? How dare you? I'll tell you something right now, Muslims. I done seen you speaking your own language in the presence of the good American folk. Stirring them up. Stirring them up. Oh. Uh, We'll just edit that out. Okay. Stirring them up, making making them scared at the airport. Hassling everybody's time because of y'all's terrorism. Making it all difficult now. Our own government's got to have an agency to look at us naked trying to get on an airplane because of what y'all done been pulled. If you would have just had a fair fight, we could have duked it out in the American streets as good Americans do. But you chose the route of terror. How dare you take away the Lord's tool for turning over his flock? How dare you try to make people afraid and have to submit to Islam? How dare you directly copy Christianity from the ancient days in the name of the Lord? Thou shalt have no other gods but me. It doesn't matter that we're talking about the same God using different names. Now, you's gonna come in here and try to copy off our shit. That's what it's about. That's how it gets personal. I tell you what, you's best be thinking about one thing out there, Muslims. There might be 1.7 billion of you that don't give a shit about us because you got your own problems. But Christianity and America are willing to make that 1% a hell of a big deal. How dare you think we won't?